from the nation's capital, welcome to Your Source TV. Be empowered, encouraged, and inspired to look beyond the ordinary. From the nation's capital, welcome to Your Source TV. For all your innovations information, I'm Tamara Stutchlack, and in this segment, we're here with Terry Maria, and she's a vibrational healer and activator. Welcome, Terry. We're so pleased to have you here. Thank you, Tamara. I'm so happy to be here to be able to present to you what I do with this new technology that has been gifted to me. And what type of technology is this? Well, it's working with sound and vibration, resonance, harmony, reharmonizing all of the systems, all of the bodies within an individual and in a collective through a groups. Um, it's an activation. Um, I work totally with a life force that runs throughout each individual. So what is energy? What's the basic tool set that, that you work with? Well, energy is in everything. Everything has an energy to it. It has a vibration. It has a resonance to it. And I address the life force that actually runs through each human and actually through all life itself. And, you know, we as a society address in Western medicine, we're addressing the physical ailments, we're addressing the mental, the emotional bodies, but we don't address the most common, the most obvious, and that is a life force that runs through every single human being. If so why do you think we just have not had language or talked about this technology or addressed it in this manner? I think because people keep it separated out, um, you know, it's invisible. So you don't see it, so how do we even know it exists? We feel it, we in tune to it. Um, if we didn't have it, we would be laying on the ground pretty flat out. So it's something... So quantum physics is starting yeah. to, to language it and describe it and quantify it and... Yeah, I mean, yes, the science community knows all about it. Um, the medical community knows about it. There are, people talk about it all the time, like I can feel the energy of this or that, um, or my so energy's that, low. So what does that mean, I can feel that energy? Or what, are, what is a person feeling, or what do you feel? Well, what I feel with people's energy is that I'm, I'm an empath, I'm an intuitive, I'm a channel. I can re I see the blueprint. Everybody has their own energetic signature. It's like an autograph. Everybody is unique. It's like our thumbprint. Every, there is not two the same. And so what people are feeling, or they're feeling when somebody's high or low, you know, when they're depressed. And in this world right now of all the chaos and all the technologies through so cell towers. So you're not feeling someone's emotion. You're actually feeling their energy, their vibration, their what? Well, emotions actually do affect the energy, as well as the mental state addresses the energy. So I feel all of those together as one. The physical, when somebody's in pain or hurting or have an illness, you can feel the energy also as it comes into relationship with all the other systems in the body. And people may be familiar with empaths. And how do you bring this uniqueness and maybe perhaps some of your training uh, into how you help others? Well, I, how I use it is I restore what is already within the individual. We already know, we already have a natural blueprint in how we are to be. I work with sound, I work with tone, because everybody is a sine wave, S-I-N-E, sine wave. And it's a natural rhythm. And what I do is work with the cells. Each cell has its natural rhythm. And the cells become totally, you know, um, in alignment or not in alignment. Our physical cell or our energetic cell? Uh, well, all of it, actually. The physical cell itself has a blueprint. And it comes all the way back through our ancestry. I mean, we are our ancestors, and we carry we, the experience. Right, so in genetics, we say that our, our genes come from our ancestors. So you're tying in an energy blueprint to that as well. Perhaps what people have not heard expressed that way. Well, Because it's not seen. It's not seen. So when it's not seen, people like to forget what's not seen. They want to look what's the obvious. But we, start, we need as an individual, as a human race, is to start to truly feel. We must feel within our heart, not through the emotional body, because the emotional body is distorted based on our beliefs, based on how we're raised, our traumas. We need to start really tuning into our truth of who we are, our natural feeling sense. And that is where the energy comes in, is reharmonizing and finding the balance in that. So how do you help people? What Tell us about some of your approaches and what a person might e expect from your approach. 
Well, people usually come to me when they're in a place in their life where they've hit the wall. You know, they don't really know what to do. They've been through medical, they've, you know, sometimes, sometimes they just know they need some guidance in their life. You know, where's our path and purpose? What do I really want to be when I grow up? So they'll come to me because what we can do at that time is work with restoring. I'm a rehabilitator of an energetic field. And when the energy is off balance, it causes all kinds of dysfunction in, in the person, in the experience of the person. So what I do is I work with tone and restoring their natural vibrational rhythm and just align. You know, when we're in a peaceful place, we can think clearer. We can navigate our lives a little bit, you know, more with joy in our lives. So how do you help people in a session restore some of that balance? What are you doing energetically and maybe a little bit about your training? Well, um, there's many different ways. Everybody's unique. You know, every person comes to me with a unique and personalized um, situation. So some interestingly, uh, could, and, and medicine is he heading toward personalized medicine. So it's very personalized, Every, and I work in a. I have a huge repertoire of what tools I can pull out. I'm actually a human tuning fork. I am a vibrational. I resonate to a certain frequency, so I can help that person tune my body, myself, my source can tune into that person individually and help them align with whatever they need at the time. I will work with tuning forks. I work with this beautiful gong here and vibrational gong. I work with crystal bowls. Is this music therapy? It's somewhat music therapy. I mean, it, music, it, everybody knows how music makes them feel. It makes them feel great. It makes them feel passionate. It makes them feel calm, relaxed. Um, all of those things happen, yes, because it stimulates something within them. It is a vibrational therapy because I don't work so much with uh, sound as a music, a symphony. And songs. Songs, exactly. Songs are great. It's a wonderful way of upliftment because anytime we're uplifted, we raise our vibrational and songs level. songs carry an energetic blueprint themselves also, but you're at a, at a pure state in terms of working directly with an individual. Directly with an individual. And as even individuals come into a collective, it's like you are your own instrument. And you are totally responsible to how you tune your instrument. So when that instrument then comes into contact with another instrument that they play in harmony and so forth and so forth until you're actually creating a symphony as we are becoming one in consciousness as humanity, we need to start working in a unified field instead of a, such a dualist, dualist you know, field or polarity field you know, of separation. So tell us a little bit about your, your training or how have you come to this? You've said you're an empath and some <laughs> people may not know what that is or there may be some confusion about what actually you're doing. Uh, do they need to know what you're doing or can they just receive the, the effect of, of what you share? And again, this is a very innovative um, area that people may not be familiar with. Right. Well, thank you. Um, my training has been, um, I have been gifted this from the time I was young. It's something that I've always known. It's a knowing deep within me. Um, the information always comes for that individual. It comes from them indir indir directly, directly. Whatever. So a person comes to you and doesn't speak to you, a session starts and it's your being an empath in all of your well, tools. Well, sometimes, I mean, sometimes they speak to me, sometimes they don't speak to me. It depends on what that person, again, is there for. Sometimes they want to find their life path and purpose. They've lost direction. And so I can track an energetic blueprint through them, throughout a soul's path, their destiny line, and actually help them to find placement again. Or sound is something that you get your mind directly out of it. It has nothing to do with the mental state. It has nothing to do with the... Because we're to talking retain. mentally now. We're right. using language and this... This could come across as something, you know, people have not heard about, so it's hard to attach to. Right. But if they're listening, what, with their heart or coming into some energetic? It's such a deep knowing within an individual. People know. They know that they're out of balance. And when they're out of balance, they know there's no heart. There's some kind of not, there's not a peaceful place. They're not in harmony with their life. They're not in harmony with themselves. And what sound does, it takes you completely out of the mind so that we don't have to think it to death. We get so caught up and locked down into how logically we can make our lives a better place. But are people given tools so they, they can do this themselves? Like most people approach, you know, a modality, let's say separate from a, a, a medical visit as, well, how many sessions am I going to have to come to or, or, or this this paradigm of 
you know, how long will this, will this take for, for this to go away? Everybody's unique. Some people feel wonderful and better the first time because my, my goal is to empower the individual that they don't need me. You know, I, my goal is to allow them to be, the, to be in complete control of their own wellness and healing. So and do so, you help people learn how to do what with their energy? Well, sometimes we really, the DNA has bec is damaged. We are damaged because we have been cut off from source energy, life force itself. We have been um, siphoned from our foods, the preservatives. We have been disconnected from our belief systems, limited in our belief systems through our judgments. And we're coming from a place of logic in which that separates us from allowing us, our own selves, to be in the flow. So sometimes, yes, the DNA is actually needs repair. That's why I do restoration work. Energetically or physically? Well, it's all. It's all one and the same. There is no separation from what's physical and what's energy, what's mental, what's energy. It's all one. And so what I work with is one, one thing is to restore and rehabilitate and synthesize the, 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 your own magnetic, electric magnetic harmon, harmonic field within your own cells connecting to source and the earth, whatever it is that makes you move. That is what I work with to repair what has been damaged. And a lot of the cells have been damaged based on environmental, based on our beliefs, based on trauma. People, how many people have had trauma as a childhood? Emotional, not, physical. All. Absolutely. And not only that, is that we are not only our own self, we are our ancestors because we carry their cells. We are the trauma and the emotions within our grandparents, our parents our aunts and our uncles, because each one has a cell that was the, its own blueprint memory, memory stored within the cell, an energetic memory stored within the cell. Energetic memory. Correct. It's stored within a cell. The cell knows already. It's been programmed. And so when our parents commingle and create us in life, we still are their cells. So we still can carry remnants of that frequency itself. So even we, we, that's why so many people go, I've gone through therapy, I've done every bit of work I can possibly do for myself, but yet I still can't seem to break free. This is about freeing the soul, freeing the individual to live their full potential. So Terry Marie, we're, we're coming to uh, the point in the segment where we're going to do a demonstration with your tools. And um, you have a gong, a uh, tuning fork, and a uh, crystal bowl. So uh, we're going to go now to uh, a demonstration. Well, Tamara, I would like to give you a demonstration quickly on a few of the tools that I use on how I rebalance and reharmonize the energy within the body. This is a crystal tuning fork. It's 99.9% .9 quartz crystal. It resonates to a certain frequency. Actually, it's a certain pitch, G. The note is G. So what I would do with an individual, if they're laying on them, usually they're laying on a massage table. I can do them sitting down wherever. I strike. It starts to resonate a vibration. And then I would work with the body. First, I could scan the whole body and start to reharmonize because we have an energetic field that actually emanates outside of the body. This is what some people call an aura, but there is an energetic field around us that I first work in through that because that can become distorted because we have so many external influences on our own energetic field here. And you can always tell when somebody's too close to you and you're like, you're in my space. That's because you're feeling that energy of that person that feels a little negative or oppressive. So I would work this, I can also, I would add it and put it on certain parts of the body and it would start to open. Even injured areas, I can put it on injured areas, it vibrates into that area itself and helps to dissipate that which is in disharmony or dysfunctional within that cell itself. This is one of the tools that I use. Another tool that I would use would be the crystal bowl. This is a practitioner bowl, this is quartz crystal also and it's overlaying 24 karat gold which increases the alchemy itself of it. Again, I would strike, and I could scan the body, and I actually will feel where there is a distortion in the body itself. I will hold longer because I'm very in tune to the, you individually and the sound itself, and I can feel and hear where there is some type of a coagulation of an energy that needs to be dispelled somehow. So this is another tool I would use around the body or on the body. I have bowls that are flat that I put on the body itself, that resonates and let the body feel the vibration throughout and that realigns the cells. Now my favorites are gongs 
because you can do it in group settings. I love to do it with everybody's laying on the floor, feeling. And that will resonate throughout the whole body, especially if you have the whole body experience. First off, it takes you into another state. It really does. It takes you an expanded state of consciousness and awareness and allows the healing to take place, be it for on whatever level you'd like it to be. It's much better than a shot of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> so, and so these are groups. I have different sound, different tones, different notes. All my bowls are toned to a certain note itself. The body is like a piano. The spine itself is intoned to a piano keys. So you can really reharmonize it just like you would do any instrument. You're the instrument. What do you choose? How do you choose to play your instrument is up to you. How much care you choose to take to that instrument is up to you also. It's very, very personalized. And it's a very personal experience. Welcome back to Your Source TV. We're here with Terry Maria, who's a vibrational healer and activator. Terry Maria, we want to ask you about how you help people. Some examples of people that have come to you uh, for a variety of reasons and how they've been helped. Well, and there's many different ways again, but one of the ways is through um, children, for instance, with ADHD that can't focus. You know, you can take a child who's always in their mind, constantly going, and, and, and an individual itself that can't get out of their stress, they think about work all the time, they're stuck in their lives. And using just a tuning fork, I mean, a tuning bowl, um, crystal bowl here, for instance, when you want to calm anything just to go into a place of stillness, which is the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest. When we get out of that, we start to create all kinds of damage inside, internally, and mentally and all the other ways. But, I mean, just by using sound. This is considered a sine wave, which is an, an organized, perfectly aligned sound that takes us completely, instantly out of our mind and puts us directly into our heart in this place of peace and calm. And so when you have a lot of chaotic activity, even the cells in the body, the cells itself are in conflict with themselves. So there's, there's that, you know, people know what that anxiety feeling feels like. When you start to feel that, the cells are doing all these, these frenetic things. I can do just simple, this is one simple tool that I work around the body itself, around the whole energetic field, and the, every system, the emotions, the mind, the physical, starts to relax and allows the healing to take place. It calms a child, calms hyperactivity. It's wonderful for teachers to be able to use them in the classrooms, really? corporate meetings, when everybody's all worried, you just start sound. And everybody goes all into an adjoining. Every person in that room comes into the same place of one at that same moment. They're all at the same place. Their minds aren't going all over thinking about their grocery list and their this and their that. They come into an adjoining as a collective group in instantaneously. So what are some other examples of clients that have come to you and perhaps been helped with a particular condition? Some practical ideas for folks. Well, practically... Um, some, it's anything. Sometimes, all right, I'll, I'll talk about the physical for a moment. I'm also a massage therapist, a certified massage therapist, so I do a lot of body work. And the person comes in, let's say, with a, an absolute tension in their shoulder blade. They can't get it out. It feels like a knot all the time. And as I've worked in the body itself, I can work in with my hands, I will f actually track what was the distortion of, that created that to begin with. It, be it an event, be it an energetic cyst. It's a negative charged energy that is stored within the tissue itself, within the cells, that causes things to kind of lock into place. So working with vibration 
it shakes, it can vibrationally tune to that frequency, the negative charge to that, to become neutralized. And what happens is like anything, if you think of a woman who can sing a soprano you know, note that can shatter glass, she can take matter through tone and dissolve absolute concrete structure. And this is the same thing we do with the tissue. We can completely dissolve what has created that mass network and dissolve it through a vibrational frequency that can intone to that specific point to realign it and restore it back to its harmonic state. So I can do it through the physical, through it, the dysfunction in the body. I've done it with um, people who are very emotional that have trying to deal with grief and loss and trying to restore them, hold the frequency up higher, bring the body and the awareness back into a higher frequency, which I call entraining the energy itself. Joy, can, we, we, we can just be in joy and that ships everything anyway. So. so you're helping to bring people into joy in your presence and then they're learning tools to revisit that energetic experience. Um, not, nece not necessarily is it like that. I mean, we as a collective group or individually, we should live in our joy, our heart's desire. My, what I do too is help people to find what it is within their heart. What is it that they desire for themselves? And to actually give themselves permission to live that life. Most people don't give themselves permission. They already know. We already know within ourselves how to be well, whole, and complete. We just don't feel that we're worthy. We don't feel that society will let us. I mean, there's many reasons for it. Forgiveness, forgive ourselves, self-worth. So when we can come to that place to give ourselves permission, sometimes it takes another person to say to you, here, here it is, and present it to you, and be, to find within, to remember what it feels like to be whole. So how are people led to make these changes or what changes take place? What, you know, in terms of the frequency and your work? They're immediately, immediately relaxed. They immediately feel a sense of well-being. And that's the first step in healing anything. And then what comes from there, there are stages. And it's the person's responsibility and what they're going to do with any of the tools I give them. It's always self their own changes. To make their own changes. And change is inevitable. We're going to make changes one way or the other. And in a world that with society that we live in today that's so chaotic, you know, our bodies are actually intoning to that chaos also. You know, energy all, siphoning? And, well, energy siphoning is a, is a huge issue. What is that? Energy siphoning is that we allow other things, other entities to take control over us, be it our, our, our TVs are siphoning our energy. The news siphons our energy because we're fed, we're listening to the system that's feeding us and creating us to be angry or upset so that we become depleted in our energy. So something is the host. Alcohol, drugs, our youth are full of drugs and alcohol today that's siphoning our youth. They're siphoning the energy from our youth so that they can't be empowered within themselves as a collective. The food that we eat siphons our energy and depletes us completely. It's depleting ourselves so that we're not well and complete. So we need to, it's called artificial life force. So what I am gifting back to someone through sound, through resonance, through vibration and energy is raw organic material. That, that is what we need to start connecting to all the time, every day, every moment, is to reconnect ourselves and to... And this is an, an, a natural state, it's an, a natural consciousness, it's a natural flow of energy that we can do for ourselves. Absol well, absolutely. It's like oxygen. It's like water. These are the elements. It's an element that we all have to live with. We need to survive. We have been ignoring some of the most important elements in, that's presented to us, that's provided for us, and that is energy, true source energy, not energy based on the wireless, not energy from our TVs and all of the different cell towers and satellites that's going on out there, not energy from material objects or energy from the alcohol, drugs, medication. We need to restore ourselves to our natural energetic state of being. So in our discussion here, and our dialogue, we've not talked about religion or spirituality. What, somebody might ask, well, how does that relate to what, what, uh, what energy healing is? Energy is neutral. There is no religious. You can't put it. You can't define it. You can't define it. It is the absolute in everything. It is just a natural laws of physics. 
So we are, we have a choice. We have a choice all the time in what we choose to align ourselves with. So there doesn't have to be um, an identity to any of it. It just is. Energy just is. You can't qualify it. So as we're coming to a close here, what would you want people to know about vibrational healing and what your unique um, approach is? Well, my unique approach is that I can tune in to where the distortion began.